At 9.20 a.m. on the 15th of February 2013, a massive meteorite had exploded above the Russian city of Chelyabinsk. Two minutes after this explosion, the city residents had still heard and felt nothing. Close analysis of other explosions can reveal why. What we're gonna see in this footage is a large explosion filmed at a test range in the United States. There it goes, we've seen the explosion, the camera pulls back and then the pressure wave hits. So what this is showing is that actually whilst you see something, that information was going into the eyes and the brain at the speed of light, the pressure wave is going much more slowly around the speed of sound and therefore it hits you after you see the event. In Chelyabinsk, the shockwave from the airburst was hurtling towards the city at 760 miles per hour. The speed of sound. In its path was sales manager Rinal Siganatulin. I was making my tea when my colleagues ran to me saying they saw a very bright, unusual flash. I didn't take it seriously at first. Not far away at the South Ural State University was student Nikita Kirchikov. After the flash, I ran outside. I decided to film everything. The trail went from one side to another. Then, at 9.23 a.m., the shockwave finally arrived. It felt like a push. You could feel the shockwave hitting your body. It felt like I was in a movie. It felt like the apocalypse. As the blast ripped through the city, Nikita also captured the moment of impact. Everyone was in the state of panic. There was complete chaos in the streets. The shockwave was in fact so powerful that an international monitoring system showed it traveled around our entire world twice 